Hey everybody, welcome to RCTV here. Tonight's coverage as the Springford Rams host the Norristown Eagles along with Logan Candle here. I am Bill Culp and we welcome you here tonight to a pretty, pretty packed house there. Uh, Logan for the Rams coming home for their first division game here. And talk about their last game against State College there. Yeah, they had a big win against State College, 52-44. to 44. Uh, They just played a great game all together, and uh, hopefully we'll see the same thing tonight. Yeah, so they're looking to get you know get off that. They got two wins uh, in a row here after two early losses, coming in at 3-2. and two. Obviously, they're, they're happy to be home, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm glad they're happy to be here and just ready to keep on rolling with these wins. As we're sitting this, getting a look at the starters here, some pretty good size on the front line there. Uh, Logan with some, you got 6'4", six 6'4", four, six four, and 6'6". Six six. That's a pretty good front line for the Rams here. Yeah, it's just good to see all that height. Hopefully it'll come into a big factor to win tonight. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, you know, defense, I know Coach Dempsey, that's what he preaches. It's kind of funny when you look at the scores early on in their first uh, five games, uh, giving up. 50 points, over 50 points, more than once. Their first game only giving up 18. That's more of a Spring Ford, uh, Dempsey style kind of game here. So we'll see here tonight if the Eagles can run here with the Rams. As we're about to tip off, Kelly here. We got Kelly Wynn, Zollers, Campbell, and McConchu. Oh, Kelly gets the tip, and Zollers with the save. Kicks it to Campbell to win. Wynn's got Kelly all alone. Kelly with the double pump, he's got it right back. Offensive rebound there, so a nice little start there for the Rams. Yeah, it'd be good to just start off with a little quick point like that, keep the momentum going, hopefully. Yeah, high percentage shot, two layups for Kelly. Misses the first, but gets the offensive rebound, so there's a slow rotation there for the Rams. Nice offensive rebound as Wynn picks it up, kicks it to Campbell. Campbell didn't see him, either did Wynn. Oh, that's a big block right there by Wynn, so a nice recovery. He's got, oh, too much. As, oh, nice pass there to Kelly, as Kelly's got four here early for the Rams, so a nice find there by Makunchi. So nice recovery there, Logan, by Wynn there on that bad pass he made, but he got the block shot and started a fast break. Yeah, it's good to see just even when you make the mistake, just come back and make the next uh, the next best play. That feels good to swat it. Yeah, it's definitely giving them some, some mojo and some energy right now. That's Bird there handling the ball up top. Oh, goes on and under. Campbell doing a nice job. He's got a no look right there to Zollers. I was going to say Zollers looked like he was maybe thinking a dunk there. Yeah, that, that looks big. I can feel it. <laughs> So nice no-look pass, and the Rams off to a 4-0 lead here. There's Kelly in the corner. Kelly, a little short, but Zoller's right there for the rebound. Zoller's knew he had one there. Yeah, I, that's another, that's two miss for Matt. I feel like he's getting frustrated. I see something coming up soon. Yep, two offensive boards for the Rams, so that's a good thing. Yeah, they're playing start. aggressive right around the paint. They're picking up all those rebounds. It's good to see that. High off the glass there. Yeah. For Zoller, Zoller's on the board, 6-0 lead. Giving Bird everything here, won't let him in the lane. Nice hesitation move. Good defense there. As Zollers brings it in. Heads it up to Campbell. Campbell looks where he's at. Waits for Zollers, sets up the offense. There's the win, win on the outside. We can shoot for better, he doesn't mind shooting that deep. Yeah, he's a good shooter, but that's just not a high percentage shot. Nice catch and shot right there, and there's Wynn hitting those threes. We saw, saw him warm up slogan, him hitting from the outside, excuse me, on the other side. So this, it's nice to see him on his first shot hit those, uh, hit his first shot. Yeah, there was nice movement on that play too. It was just a good, well-designed play right there. And right now it's a shutout. The Eagles with the first substitution, 5.53 here to go. The Rams leading 9-0. So that defense right now is all over them, Logan. Yeah, they just can't get anything. They're just locking them down every every part outside in the paint. Yeah, you got that. You got a big wig span out there. ZJ Campbell moving his feet. That's all right there. Oh, just missed the ball. Narstown swings it. 
There's a three, a little short on that. Big rebound, oh, couldn't haul it in. Double miss, so he altered that shot. Campbell wisely holds on to it. There's to Kelly. Kelly with a big old step, and woo! There's a block. That was Kelly. rough. Two guys on the ground, it's a hard <laughs> fall. Yeah, he took off from uh, where Rams logo there, Logan in the middle. Yeah. For the layup, made a nice move though. Rolled the ball over in the lane, so we're getting our two foul shots as Coach Dempsey, it's almost like a timeout, takes everybody off the line there. Yeah, just get everyone back right into the right mentality, figure out what they're doing right now. Yep. Yep, so a nice lead. Don't want to get lackadaisical here with five minutes. It's Coach Dempsey instructing. There, uh, just got to keep rolling with this. I the think box they... out. Good little press here. That's what Dempsey called for. Quick Dempsey. Oh, that's a walk. Yes, he did. Yeah, that's a tough mistake for them right there. They should not be doing that. Yeah. Almost got, he probably would have got the call if he didn't fall and trip there. Yeah, uh, he, had he had that had basket lane, open man. too. He had that lane. Yep. All right, so Campbell bringing it up with 11-0 lead. Five minutes here to go. If you're Norris down right now, Logan, what are you thinking? I think we just got to put some points on the board with this. Just like, <laughs> just get some movement going, you know. Oh, same shot, deja vu right there, Logan. So oh, that's yeah. 12, 14 right there, just like that. So they got to call a timeout. And we're going to take a quick timeout and stick with us as we come back for more action. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. Hey everybody, hey everybody, welcome back to RCTV's coverage here as the Spring Ford Rams hosting the Norristown Eagles. Right now, Logan, it has been all Rams. You see with the press right there. Yeah, they're just all over them in every way, defensively, offensively. They're dominating those rebounds, oh, nice too. Nice no look. <laughs> Kelly's just lighting it up right now. He's having a ball. That's his third layup. He's got, or four layups, excuse me, he's got, or third layup. He's got eight, no, two from the stripe. Yeah, he's been doing good all night so far. I mean, I've seen a lot from him with the rebounds and the shots. He's playing hard basketball. Yes, he is. And you look at that chart right there. You look at the uh, the points there. Everybody almost in the starting lineup there scoring. So for the Rams, their first substitution. Nice little play right there. Goes right up. McConchu. So Lemire Green, 5'8 guard. Oh, nice, got his hands right in there. Lemire making his presence known right away. There goes Kelly. Oh, that's a charge, but they, no call. Woo! That was a, a nice call there for Kelly. So Kelly's in double digits already with four minutes here to go. Narstown down 20 nothing. Yes, that's right, 20 nothing. Yeah, Bill, they've done themselves all a Rams. big hole tonight. I mean, it's going to be hard to dig them out already. Yeah, with this defense, it's going to be hard to come back at, at, at this point. If you're the Eagles, there's an air ball. Kelly yeah, they gotta change something out. <laughs> so the Rams looking to capitalize. So Makanchu out. Here comes Jake DeAngelo. De 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 so DeAngelo, so emptying the bench here is Dempsey. Here comes Marcillo. So they're emptying the bench. And that's a good thing for Dempsey. You know, give the starters a little bit of a rest. Uh, yeah. You know, probably, even though it's their first game, uh, in the league, they're probably going to get back in here because he's going to want to get them some minutes. Although this is good for the substitutions, especially later on. Nice pass. Yeah, it's good to keep the starters fresh, just keep everyone rotating through, especially when you're already up by 20 points. Correct, yep. Dempsey, oh, nice no look right there. Nice find there as Rashawn Gibbons. Gibbons gets on the board for two. So the Eagles finally on the board. As Green surveys the floor, gets it over to Wynn. 
Wind pump fakes, oh, he's got the range. Oh, whoo! That's three threes for Win. that's nine. Yeah, that one was from Steph Curry country. And there's, oh, rips and a rebound right from, oh, nice bang there. In the middle, good rebound by Delangelo. Nice kick up to Green. Green, nice hesitation, good fake. He's got Wynn cutting. Wynn with a nice left hand off the glass. So he's got double figures. So we got two there, Logan, in double figures, 10 and 11. Yeah, it's just good to see that right now. You know, they're already, they're getting moving quick. And I think it's all just because of their rebounds right now. I think they're just, those hard rebounds, they're winning them. Even if they lose one, they come back and grab it right after. Yeah, definitely, you can see the Rams are looking to, the Eagles got to do a better job getting back on defense because the Rams are just getting absolutely easy shots. I mean, they're pushing the ball. It's, it's basically one or two passes and they got a shot. Yeah, they got to keep up with the movement. I don't think they really can, though. I mean, we got speed on this team. We got height. They got everything. Yeah, I agree with you. They do have a lot. A lot of talent here. So more substitutions as Campbell back in. Green picks him up far. So nice ball movement. That's off his foot. That's going to go the other way. So good help defense. And Zoller is going to put it into Green. So EJ off the ball here, so he's gonna allow Green to run the show. There goes Campbell with a nice drop, nice ball movement. As we have Blake Turner in. Oh, nice no look, a little low. Good gathering there, Green, nice ball movement. And there's an easy, oh, a little too hard. Oh, geez, wow. Jordan Marcillo got up for that there. Yeah. Real high, Logan. Yeah, that was crazy ball movement. That was a great play right there. I just couldn't capitalize on it. <laughs> you got ups like that? Uh, I wish. <laughs> oh, nice touch rim on a good day. Right there. <laughs> now, there goes Campbell. Campbell in the corner. Over to Turner. Back to Campbell. Campbell to Green. In the middle to Zollers. Zollers holding the ball high. Those are strong hands are trying to knock it out of. It's Zollers. So here comes the substitutions again. Delangelo and Wynn are back. So Kelly, second leading scorer, still on the bench. As Wynn, your leading scorer with 11. Let's see, there's Campbell. Oh, had the back door, I thought. It's gonna hit win, win that same spot. Oh, nice hesitation. And that's a facial. Another one, that's he just can't stop this facial from the 14, Woo. All right, you say you don't have ups like that. Can you shoot like that? Sometimes. <laughs> that's good. There goes Win picking up on the defense there. Nice reverse, beautiful layup there by Bird. So Bird, six. Got 40 seconds left here in the quarter. Over to Zollers to win. Got to get in his face. As trying to get handsy over there with win. About all you can do if you're Bonds. Over to Zollers. Yeah, gonna be content holding on for that last shot. No shot clock in high school. What should murder? It's murder. It should be a shot clock. Yeah, there's not a shot call in a lot of sports, though. Like, lacrosse doesn't have a high school shot call yeah. either. Well, college now has it. And, of course, obviously, the Yeah, I mean, it up. keeps up the pace of play. Nice pass. There's Zollers with an easy little jump hook. Five seconds left here. That is, might get the shot off. And they're not. That shot is not going to count, even if it goes. So that ends our first quarter here with the Rams with a thumping 30 to 6. Hold on, everybody. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back for the second quarter. Worried about your friend but don't know how to reach out? You could say how are you or get a fake tattoo. You could ask with an app if it works for you. You could chat with them in VR. It's so good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you Learn how you can help at seizetheawkward.org. 
Hey guys, it's me, Isabella Gomez, filling in for Smokey Bear because he's got more to say than just... Only you can prevent wildfires. Like, if you're outside enjoying a barbecue, don't let a hamburger distract you from fire safety. Make sure you aren't dumping your hot coals or ashes onto the ground because that could start a wildfire. So take wildfire prevention seriously and let's save the world one day at a time. Juntos con Smokey Bear, podemos hacerlo. Go to SmokeyBear.com to learn more about wildfire prevention. Hey everybody, thanks for hanging in and welcome back to RCTV's coverage here as the Rams of Springford here in their gymnasium hosting the Narstown Eagles and it was all Springford that first quarter there, Logan, along with Logan Candle and Bill Culp. So Logan, it was a great first quarter for the Rams. Yeah, Bill, that was just insanely dominant from them. They just, they were everywhere all over them. They couldn't get a shot up or anything. Yeah, really, I, look at that. I was just about to say their defense has turned it into offense, and Kelly with just a little missed layup there as he gets it back. So close yeah, they're place, playing good, and now hard he's defense. Got 12 here, so defense turning into offense. They're just getting easy shots here, Logan. Yeah, you know what they say, defense wins championships. Yeah, it's true, and it's, you know, high percentage shots is what you want, and they are shooting at a high percentage here tonight. Yeah, you see them all just driving the basket, trying to get those close to. Yeah, so the Narstown Rams are going to take a quick timeout. Well, so we'll take a quick timeout and be right back in just a second. Hey everybody, welcome back to RCTV's coverage. Thanks again for hanging in. So Norristown taking Logan a quick timeout. I don't know what for. I mean, obviously, coming out the first, or excuse me, the first quarter after that thumping. Second quarter didn't start out too well with a turnover and a layup there by Kelly. Yeah, no, they gotta change something up. I don't really know what they're doing, but it's not working. Definitely not working here. But for the Rams, everything is working. Win picking him up top, so look at that, picking him up pretty high there, ZJ Campbell. That's a deep three. Oh, he gets it to go, so that's Bird with his second bucket. He's got five, or seven, excuse me. Rams inbounds the ball, so a little press here by the Eagles. Oh, that was close. As Zollers breaks the press over to Win. Win with a little skip dribble to Zollers, back to Campbell. Campbell to Kelly. Kelly with almost a screen there. It's all alone there. Campbell can take him if he wants. Oh, turnover. That's the first turnover there for the Rams. Yeah, they look like just like a miscommunication between EJ. Uh, oh. Came nice back to up there. Yeah, it. made it look easy there. That was actually a pretty hard shot. So nice defensive play, but Campbell uh, being patient there and waiting. For Zollers to get set. Oh, there's a finger roll. Here's another layup on the outside. They don't see. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think the crowd was looking for a dunk there, Logan. That's what I was feeling there, too. <laughs> I was hoping. Ah, throw it down, big fella. Yeah, he's got, he's got the hops 36 for it. <laughs> he's pretty high. Oh, and another turnover for the Eagles. 5.54. They keep making these costly small mistakes, like just turning over the ball and small fouls and stuff. I think it's really counting up for why they're losing so badly tonight. Yeah, you can't, obviously, when you're down uh, 27, you can't afford to turn the ball over. You have to get the ball up uh, into the basket. You got to get a shot off. You can't turn the ball over. And yeah, Zollers breaks more the smart press basketball. Easily. Swings it to Kelly. Kanchu to win. Oh, yeah, hesitated there. Oh, nice, beautiful shot there in the lane. And that was Blake Turner with his first bucket. He's got two. He's in the scoring card. Make the paper there, Logan. 
That's going to be far off. As Makachu hits that out. Oh, I'm surprised they gave him that ball. I thought he hit it out there a little bit. But I'm going to give it back to the Rams. Campbell in for a win. So Zoller's inbounding. Oh, he's got the home run. Nice pass. Zollers does that on the football field too. There goes Kelly. Woo! Thought he was moving there. Yeah, I was looking for a high right loop reel right there. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. Uh, Zollers is used to making that pass, but it's a much uh, bigger field. Obviously, indoors, he was limited there, but made a nice throw like he does on the gridiron. Yeah, really just showing off that arm like that. Yeah. So nice play. That's something that could come in handy later on, so a good thing to get it out in the uh, beginning of the season here. So E.J. Campbell, a little bit of a press. Oh, there's a dribble through, nice layup. Spreads the defense, that's Miles Daniels on the board. There's Turner, Turner looks up. Makanchu, he's got Turner, there goes Turner. And Turner lays it in real easy there. Well, Turner started that fast break, Logan, and then all of a sudden two steps, he's down and he's ending it. Yeah, it was a nice cut right there, he's just hustling right to it. Yeah, it definitely was. So we'll, we're going to stick around here. We're not going to take a break. So, Logan, I mean, I, you know, again, uh, you can't be happier if you're Coach Dempsey and the Spring Ford Rams right now. Yeah, I would be extremely happy. I mean, they're playing great ball out here, and I think this is going to be a dominant night for them all night. Yeah, and I'm sure Coach Dempsey, you know, one of the things is I think, you know, it's, again, uh, almost up 30, uh, 30 points here. I believe, yeah, that mercy rule, the clock will run in the second half if they continue uh, this large lead. I believe it's, it's 25 or or so points, so somebody out there could probably tell us, but uh, that mercy rule does come in effect. Yeah, I think they might just take the step off the gas a little bit, but <laughs> I think they'll still be hammering shots left and right. Yeah, yeah. Well, again, they might, uh, you know, be a little uh, eager to have that clock moving the whole time if you're the Rams, so uh, yeah, it's put always these guys out of their misery. Yeah, it's always a good oh, feeling just to be up by that much. That's $5,000 flop right there, Logan. You get fined for that. Just flop there, Kevin Bonds did. E.J. Campbell brings it up, swings it over to Jake De Delangelo, to Turner, to E.J. E.J. thought about it. Oh, E.J. looked over for the play. Nice uh, defense there. Yeah, he just didn't see that coming. That up. So that's the second turnover. <laughs> Turner passes it. Nice bounce pass by McConchu. And a nice bang by, or banging of the boards there by Delangelo. Here comes Wynn back. So Rams are going to keep it down here. Up 27 40 to 13 with 359 here in the second quarter for the half. Kicks it out. There's D'Angelo. Nice spin move by McConchu. Oh, we had a back door to Campbell. To Turner, over to Win. Win, nice pound. Look at that beautiful pass. Zollers with the left. Yeah, this passing tonight has been elite. I mean, they've just been getting to everyone. The defense just cannot keep up from Norristown. You and I should be in there. Get some points. Honestly, like throw me in for Jacob <laughs> or something. Tell Coach Reagan over there to check us in. Nice little body there. Zollers for the three. Zollers trying to show off the range. There's Wynn with a nice offensive rebound to Zollers. And Zollers skying for that one. Look at the offensive board. So Zollers in double digits now. He's got 10. Uh, what a great hard point from him. Even after missing that layup, he goes right back up for that rebound and put it back in. Oh, it's all Rams here again, even with the substitutions. Good ball fake, but way off as Campbell's going to pull it out. He's got him down low if he wants him. Nice bounce pass with the left. Oh, good flop. They're going to call the charge. Yeah, I agree with uh, McConchu there. Oben, I thought it was a little bit, ah. That might have been a little exaggerated, I feel like. Thought a little bit of a flop. McConchu knows he's got the size there. Can't fault him for that. Yeah, I think they're just penalizing him for that, just being bigger and faster. <laughs> Sometimes you got to reward the big man for those. You can't fault them for that. Let them have their space. The Rams kicking it here. 
Actually a great crowd here tonight to come see the, the Rams. Oh, Campbell brings it up. Got Wynn, nice ball fake, nice floater. Wynn hasn't missed yet. He's got 16, leading all scores. Yeah, he's been hot from right from the start. I can yep. just feel he's gonna keep going with us. Yep, he definitely has. As, ooh, almost picked up his foot, he did there, they didn't call it. Green back in, Green trying to be pesky, there's an air ball. Nice box out by Wynn, nice pass. He's got him, he's got Green, he just decides to keep it. To Green, oh Green, Hamakonchu down low. Nice play. As, oh, Marcillo thought about the layup. There's another layup for the Eagles. So the Eagles got 15. Rams still holding on to 31. As Green bringing it up. Oh, oh that's a dangerous pass across the court there. Yeah. Dangerous pass there as Coach Dempsey letting Green know, you don't want to throw that cross court. Yeah, it's just like, I see the Eagles, they're losing by a lot. They're trying to play aggressive, just get some big points. But I think it's giving us some costly mistakes like right there. They got the ball, but he went out of bounds anyway. Yeah, and that's the position. You're right, Logan. Uh, you know, the Eagles are going to have to take chances defensively, which could lead to a lot of easy shots here for the Rams. And there's one right there by E.J. Campbell. So Campbell gets his first. Bucket. He's got two. Nice. Oh, he almost swatted that. Conchu looks, gives him a look, says Bird is in double digits. There's a nice pick. Give EJ some breathing room. 49 seconds here to go. EJ loses the ball. He's got the middle. There is Marcillo. So Marcillo's on the board now too. It's a party. Party of points with 30 seconds here to go. Pull up, oh, heard that from here there, Logan. Yeah, that was bad. I mean, just sometimes they're taking shots right here where they should not be taking them. Just for the hopeful shot, they might get some points up. And that's a wide open shot there too, Logan. That hit the backboard hard. Yeah, this is feeling the pressure. It's just this terrible lead on them right now. Yep. Just like you hit the books, right? You hit the books hard. Yeah, exactly. That a boy. <laughs> Teachers are listening. They love it. They're like that Logan candle. He. He hits the books. Springford here, man to man a little bit. Up oh, there's a zone as Wynn picks him up out high. Nowhere to go there. There's Bird, your leading scorer there for the Eagles up top. Trying to get something. Oh, Ooh. Yeah, they're gonna call the foul there on Wynn, so that was a little bit of aggressive. We got 14 seconds here to go in the first half. As the Eagles looking for the last shot with 10 seconds left, Beard calling a clear out. There goes Kelly. He's got the help by Campbell. That is a deep shot. Oh, he could have taken another two dribbles there, Logan. Yeah, but he decided to go for the hard shot there. So. That is going to do it here for the half, along with Logan Candle and Bill Culp. Make sure you stick around here, take a quick break, grab a snack, and join us for the second half, everybody. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. I know kids worry about a lot of things. Getting enough food to eat shouldn't be one of them. Through a nationwide network of food banks, Feeding America serves virtually every community in the United States. See how you can help your community. Visit feedingamerica.org.
Hey everybody, welcome back to RCTV's coverage here. The second half is the Rams in their gymnasium, putting a thumping on the Narstown Eagles, along with Logan Kendall and Bill Colt. And Logan, we're a 35 point lead here for the Ram, or excuse me, um, excuse me, 33 point leads. 35 is the running clock. That's all they need is two more points here. So I'm sure that's in the back of Coach Dempsey's mind. But just talk about the first half and how Springford dominated. Oh, yeah, it was just complete domination all over the court. I mean, they definitely dominated with the shots and the hard layups and the rebounds for sure. Yeah, definitely a lot of easy shots here for the Rams. There they are at 35, so that clock is going to run continuously as Campbell contests that shot. So a nice shot there by Bird, who's leading the Eagles in scoring there. So he's basically been the only one here giving him any offense here tonight, Logan. Well, yeah, he has 13 of their 19 points tonight. He's really just the only thing going for them right now. Oh, nice give and go. He's, oh. Want to see that dunk. A nice give and go there by Wynn to Zollers. So the Rams starting off their offense right away as tries to go off the glass. That's a hard shot, Logan, off the glass from the baseline there. So left hand. Oh, it's called a little skip step there. Hesitation by Wynn. Wynn 18, two away from 20. Nice move by Bird as Bird gets in easily. So I'm sure Coach Dempsey not about happy with two easy goals there by Bird. Yeah, no, that was not very contested. I feel like they just, even though they're up, they're kind of forgetting that they still have to win the game. A nice find there by Campbell. Good penetration. Gets the defense up and then finds McConchu. And McConchu does the same thing with the ball fake. He gets it, gathers himself, and gets two points easy here. So the Rams doing the right thing there as they help up their fellow player for the Narstown, their opponent. Yeah, it's great to see some sportsmanship like that. Yeah. yeah unlike the Bucks uh, Pacers, I don't know if you saw that last night. Giannis looked like he wanted to kill somebody. Going <laughs> oh, yeah, over the basketball. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, Jesus. they took it and wanted to give it to a for, rookie uh, for the Pacers. Yeah, for his teammate. Yeah, the kid for the Pacers wanted the ball. Oh, my gosh. It's like a whole debacle. Giannis didn't even want the ball either. He wanted to give it to uh, Chris yeah, he Paul. Yeah, he wanted to give yep, because he passed Kyle Korver in threes, fifth all time. Oh, nice lay in there by Bird. So Bird the second half, giving the Eagles a little bit here. So he's up to 17 just like that. Yeah, they're starting to put up some life right here. Yeah, being aggressive here, Bird, not even looking at the end. And again, I guess you can kind of, at this point, when you're down this many points, if you're Bird, you got to just be extra aggressive. There, you know, don't yeah, look to pass. Get up as many shots as you can. Just see yep. how many points you can get. There goes Zoller's breaking the press. Nice give and go. McConchu has baseline. Holds on the ball. Nice keep. McConchu gathers himself, and he's going to get one. He's going to go for the three the old-fashioned way. McConchu in the lane. So nice penetration there. And Blake Turner's back. So Turner back in, Kelly out. Or excuse me, Campbell out. It's McConchu shooting his free throws. And they have a miss from the strike here tonight. Kelly made his two. He made his one. So McConchu's got seven. Nice look at that scoreboard there, Logan. You got a lot of numbers there for those, the five right now in. Yeah, you can see just how well they've shared the ball out here. No one has an unreasonable amount of points. It's well shared, 14, 18, 14. Yeah, that's a nice scoreboard where you look at the other board, it's basically all bird there. 17, four, and then two. As Kelly kicks it out to Turner. Turner to Makachu. Makachu with a nice lead. Oh, nice. He'd love to have that back for his 20th, but Kelly. Cleans it up. He's got 16. Yeah, that was a great save from Tommy nice just to get those points back. Nice rebound there as Kelly gathers it to win. Win kicks it to Kelly. Kelly, Kelly just making it look easy here in the lane. Nice yeah. little soft touch there. Look, it's a lot harder than you think. Yeah, no, he's just he's just looking big and calm down in there, just putting up good points. Yep. You really see his aggressiveness show through. Even when he misses, he's going back up for the rebound and everything. 
And he's got those ups, definitely got the length in the arm, so he's got 18 along with Wynn, our two leading scorers here for the Rams. Zollers in double figures there is a nice pass there. Kevin Bonds. Zollers bringing it up, 319, 65, 27 for those watching at home as you got three Rams looking to check in. McConchu here. Oh! That's a dangerous play, and uh, yeah, I agree with that. It looked like he went down a little early on that flop. So remember, we saw that in the first half there, Logan. They called it offensive last time at the end of the second quarter. And that time, they let McConchie make the play. Yeah, it's good to see them catching on to that because that definitely looked a little soft, especially the first one, too, in the first uh, half. All right, so got a lot of substitutions here for the Rams. So Turner, we got starter Kelly. Oh, nice little move there by Marcilla. So Marsilio. Marsilio with a nice little layup. He's got four here. And nice defense. There's Green picking up. Green checking in. Nice floater. Gets the roll. That is Rashawn Giddens. A little over two minutes here to go as Kelly, your big man, bringing the ball up. There's Jake DeLangelo. Oh, nice pass. Nice no look there. Green to Turner. That's some great vision right there from Green. You just saw him, a quick little dump pass like that, nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Oh, nice pass, oh, nice defense there by Green, almost picked his pocket. And they're gonna give him that three there. They're gonna call the foul on Green. Give him three shots here. I believe he was there. Again, everybody, thanks for watching here tonight. Again, uh, long, uh, Bill Cope along with Logan Candle. On cameras here tonight, right next to me is Taylor Rissavudo. Right, Taylor? All right. And then we also have Kaylee Kushner, and Jane Newland down on the floor. Cole McCreary is up top here, and Jaron Johnson is along with us up top here. So thanks, everybody, RCTV. And back in the studio is Brandon Bartolotti. He was now the spokesman person for State Farm Insurance. <laughs> Rough week with the car, he was telling me before the pregame there, so. Oh, nice free throws there, so. Again, RCTV doing everything they can to bring you great coverage here. So nice inbounds there to Green. There goes Marcillo. Marcillo breaking that press, nice job. Marcillo, good little handle. As number 25, Patrick Rose is in. Patrick Rose looking to get down low, get into the scoring column. Marcillo. Marcillo with the hesitation there as that ball movement to Turner. Turner breaking it down. There's Patrick Rose, nice baseline move. Oh, he's got him. Good defensive play. I thought he was going to drop it back there, Logan. Yeah, I really Rose. thought that was going in too. It just like, dropped Ooh. the ball almost. They didn't call that contact as gets away with one green. Up to Santangelo. There's Rose for the putback. So Rose now in the scoring column. We got a lot for the Rams here, Logan. In the yeah. scoring column, making the paper. Yeah, they're just sharing the wealth everywhere. Uh, Patrick <laughs> had 10 in the GV game. It's glad to see him putting up uh, points in the varsity game too. Yeah, spreading the wealth is a good uh, good term there. So for the Rams, they got 71 already here in the third quarter. Obviously their best output here in the early season. And then still got a quarter here left. There's Rose to Green. Green over, ooh, that's close to a walk. I think they are gonna call that. Yes, they are. Marcillo shuffled his feet a little bit on that. Maybe wasn't expecting it. Turner going to pick him up pretty far out here, almost by the logo, the pack logo. Yeah, they're going to try and get up a last second shot right here. Uh, oh, got it. Oh, got the roll. Look at that, wow. Amoroso roll. Gets the roll off of the rim. So as the Eagles celebrate that shot. Yeah, that was a great shot. A little I, bit of a break honest. here, Logan, as we come back for the fourth quarter. So everybody stick around for that quick short break. Might have brought the fans out there. These great gentlemen are home next Tuesday and Thursday.
If you love them enough to relearn math so you can teach them math, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. That's one in five daughters, sons, neighbors, and classmates who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yet billions of pounds of good food go to waste every year. It's time we do something about it. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide meals to millions of kids and families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org to help them feed even more. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Hey everybody, welcome back to RCTV's coverage here as we are in the fourth quarter here at Springford Gymnasium as the Springford Rams hosting the Norristown Eagles for a pack conference game here. And it has been all Springford pretty much here. Oh, as he gets the roll, excuse me, ended with a three-pointer. So they ended that quarter actually pretty well there. Norristown did with a nice three there and starting off the fourth with a layup. Yeah, I've definitely seen that they completely changed around from that uh, first half, but it's just kind of hard. They just dug themselves real deep, and it's going to be hard for them to dig themselves out of that. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah, definitely dug a big hole. Good uh, good t knowledge there, good terms. I totally agree. Oh, nice pass. Oh, and Green just a little short for that, but a nice pass there by Rose. And Green couldn't handle it, so another turnover there. Coach Dempsey still wants to see good play here. Yep, they're going to get that late whistle there as the clock is going to continue to run, though. As Rose picks up his first. Rashawn Giddens is on the line, the senior. He's got two so far. Unbelievable when you see, like you said, the second half, you look at Bird there for the Eagles. Uh, came in the you know, second half, he only had, he had uh, 14, I believe. He's, he's doubled that. He's got 28 leading all scorers here tonight. Yeah, he's really just been all they have for them yep. so far, and I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. I think it's a little too, too little too late. Could be too little too late. There's Turner bringing the ball up. We're not calling that. Nice little shoulder. Turner lays into him a little bit to Green. Green thinks about it, gets it over to Delangelo. Back to Turner. A little weave here as Green kicks it to Turner. There's Marcillo. Oh, excuse me, that is Delangelo. Oh, nice move there by Green. And Green with a nice dish. Ooh. Marcillo, nice dish there by Green. Nifty move there, Logan. Yeah, I thought they played a lot of potential there. Just got fouled, but got the ball back. Hard off. Nice board there. Ian Patricia. Marcillo gets the roll there, a little drop. So he's almost in double figures there. He's got six. Yeah, that was a great rebound from him. That was hard. Went right over his head and picked it right out of his hands. Oh, nice spin move by Bird there. Bird going to take a little bit of an extra break there. He's been working hard here in the second half. So Patika picks up his first. So Ian checks in, gets his first foul. <laughs> That's an entrance. Yeah, definitely not what he was hoping for tonight. Bird going for 30 here tonight. As we have another substitution is Sayer Barnes. Barnes box out Bird. Bird hits it anyway. Here comes Marcilla about to inbounds the ball. He does that right away to Patika. Hey, Jordan Marcilla breaks the press. Hey, gets it over to Green. Green calmly dribbles out to Barnes, who just checked in. Back to Green. Oh, he's got the shot. He decides ooh, to look it off there. Ah, that's a bad pass there by Marcilla. That's a foul. If you're the Rams, even though the clock is running, you don't want to foul there. 
Nah, that was just that rough. Just a dumb play right there. Yeah. yeah, let him get that shot off at this point. Going for 31 here is Bird, so he misses it. Jinxes him, we jinx him there. That's his first missed free throw. So he's, as we heard from the, the studio there, he's got 30 of their 43 there. Yeah, this has been a dominant game from him on their side. Yeah. Oh, misses both. Nice pass. Oh. oh. Nice left there. He's wide open was Barnes trying to get into the scoring column there. He's still got plenty of time. Bird doing a nice job keeping that ball up. Off, I believe that's, ooh, they're gonna give him the ball. He's got 70% of the points here tonight. So here comes Rose back in. Nick Bannon in. Nick Bannon right off the bat. Oh, RCT, is that Nick Bannon calling last night? Oh, nice triple through. Oh, good no call there, Logan. That was a good no call as Turner lays that in. Yeah, it was a great play. Hard layup right there. Mm -hmm. yeah, good body control. He did a nice job uh, kind of avoiding the, the charge there, Turner did, as he lays it in. There it goes. Oh, nice defense by Bannon. Very nice. Good box out there. Nice pass. He's got a lead ahead to Rose. Rose, nice little gather himself. Oh. He misses it, but he's got the tip back. There's a nice play there by Blake Turner. So Blake Turner, I believe. Yep, he's got 10. He's in double digits now. So Eagles. Yeah, it's great to see a sophomore a so young to put up good points like that. <laughs> yeah, anybody would take points like that. So yes. we're going to take a quick uh, point. We're going to take a quick time out here as we come back for the last couple of minutes of action, everybody. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. I'm Jenny Garth, and as a mother of three, I know kids worry about a lot of things. Getting enough food to eat shouldn't be one of them. But here in America, that is a real worry for one in five children. This is unacceptable and something Feeding America is working to solve. Through a nationwide network of food banks, Feeding America serves virtually every community in the United States, including yours. See how you can help your community. Visit feedingamerica.org. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Hey everybody, welcome back to RCTV's coverage. Here is the Rams in their own gymnasium hosting the Norristown Eagles. It's been all Rams here tonight. What stands out to you, Logan, here tonight that the Rams did? What are three things that stand out to you? Oh, three things. Uh, it's got to be the passing, the rebounding, and honestly, the layups. I think that's all just accumulated to big points, and even when they make mistakes, they're allowed to just come back with that, pick up a rebound off a missed shot, and just put it back up there. How important do you think it is for Coach Dempsey? His, you know, basically, he's gotten a lot of substitutions, a lot of kids, a lot of playing time. How important do you think that is, and do you think that's going to benefit them later in the season? Oh, very much. I think it's very good just to just cycle through the players and keep everyone fresh. Uh, if you can just get everyone to play five minutes for 100% of their effort, it's way better than them playing 50% of their effort out here for the entire game. Yeah, it's got to be great for these kids, uh, you know, work, practice all week. You know, again, getting beat up by the starters, uh, and getting a chance to kind of, you know, get out and showcase what you can do. They got a nice bench, nice. Oh, Turner misses the left there. They'll we'll call foul here on Turner. That's Ian Patika, sorry. 
Tika with the foul. So you're under two minutes here, and the Rams up third. You gotta give, you know, again, Norristown credit. They haven't really quit in the second half. They could have just easily kind of just, you know, their body language and things like that have been pretty good here. In the yeah, they've definitely been playing hard all the way through and didn't give up, but I think it was just, they didn't really have enough at the start and they just kind of put themselves in a place they just couldn't get out of. Yeah, they took out uh, Bird. You know, obviously, don't want a chance getting anybody hurt. Yeah, big standout uh, player for Norristown tonight. So minute 35 as Barnes brings the ball up, gets it to Rose. And Rose doing that, oh, nice pass, good no look. And ooh, had the chipper there, Turner did. Oh, good defense there by Rose, kick it out. And he gets his three as Romeo Carter gets in the scoring column with a three. Turner bringing the ball up. Oh, nice no look. Here we go. There's Bannon with a nice layup in the one. All right. So Nick Banyan. Those are, from what I believe, it was his first varsity points, and it's glad to see him out here just playing hard. Yeah. All work paying off. It. Went in there like a veteran there, Logan. Took it, could convert the uh, three-pointer the old-fashioned way, but he is in the scoring column, so good for him. Yeah, that's always got to put a smile on your face, putting up some points in a game like this. Couldn't tell if that went through, like, swish so good or just hit an air ball. Obviously, it was an air ball. Yeah. To get to Turner, to Barnes. There's Banyan, who just scored on that nice layup. Back to Barnes. Barnes going to swing it. Patika. Patika just going to let the clock run out here with three seconds left. So the Rams put on a thumping here tonight there, Logan, 79-52. If you're the Rams, I mean, you, you got to feel good after tonight. Oh, yeah, definitely. That was a great game played by them in all aspects of it, and I'm just uh, – they're definitely excited to look up and go to the next one. Yeah, looking forward to the next one. So the Rams thump them, 79-52, along with Logan Candle. I am Bill Culp. Thanks, everybody, for watching RCTV tonight. Continue to watch as RCTV brings you all this great coverage here. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us.